On behalf of Expert Village, my name is Carolyn Travisano, and I'm here to tell you about painting on feathers. Now this one here is my eagle, and I used a lot of marker on this one. Um, I wanted to define each feather as much as possible. Uh, I did an underpainting underneath it, added all the light and shadows throughout the, the feathers and throughout his neck, <clears throat> excuse me, neck and face area. And I went back in at the very, very final before I even sprayed. I went in and did all the, the magic marker. Uh, but very important that you find a magic marker that doesn't turn blue. Um, so it's a permanent black magic marker felt tip. And here is one of my favorites. This is my lion. Um, most of it is done with brush. Um, all the color detail, all the, the fur detail. I did go back in, again, at the very final stage and just did a little bit of magic marker or a fine artistic pen, actually, this one is, because it's a finer tip than the other ones, um, and just added like his whisker marks, some fur area, some more detail in his eyes, but for the most part, he's all paintbrush. And I had mentioned earlier about the feather uh, kind of taking a mind on, of its own um, as far as it's separating with paint on it. Now this one, I love this one because the feather did just that. It separated and it did its own thing, but it went into the basic idea of the lion and his mane and the fur. So you can incorporate any little thing that comes up with your feather basically in your design. Um, I, I love how this turned out. This is one of my favorite pieces and I think it adds to it because of what the feather did.